The national sport of Ireland has come to Virginia Beach. It's amazing. We started off last year as our first year. It's growing exponentially. And the second annual Coastal Virginia Cup is the proof. Sometimes these things start small, but last year was really big, and this year, you know, pretty decent size. We have five men's teams competing and five ladies' camogie teams competing. The game is hurling for men and camogie for women. It's a 3,000-year-old Irish sport. Get out of my way! Fast-paced and physical, it's maybe the oldest sport in the world. You got uprights like a football. If you get it through the uprights, it's worth one point. If you get it into the goal, which is guarded by the goaltender, if you get it past him into the goal, it's three points. Yeah. And it's gaining popularity in Hampton Roads. You got two guys free. Thanks to the Hampton Roads Hurling Club. They actually entered our division a couple years ago, and they were a smaller club, and they've just done really well on recruiting. Go, 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 go. The team you see in green began with just a handful of players seven years ago. I've met so, so many people. There, and I'm wearing my jersey, and they're like, oh, there's hurling here. I'm like, yeah. They're like, I had no idea. Having like an Irish sport in America and just having just outrageous number of people coming out is just phenomenal. Paul Cannon is a U.S. Marine from Ireland who's getting a little taste of home. It's very homesick, so the uh, first thing I did was find a hurling team. And I was stationed in Norfolk, so I had to hit up Hampton Roads Hurling Club, and they helped me out leaves and bones. My mom's part of the Irish American Society here in Virginia Beach, so... She kind of just brought me out one day and was like, come get this a try. I think you'd be good at it. That's you, Neither the team nor the tournament is done growing. I'd like to see it turn into an Irish festival. I see this in like five years or so being really one of those destination tournaments. There's a couple of them right now in the United States. And the Coastal Virginia Cup could be the next one. In Virginia Beach, Nathan Epstein for the Sport Track.